Welcome to the Scent of Beauty. My name is Susan, and today's video is entitled Solidity. Hoping for the best, but on what basis? Imbued, inspired, inspired only by an idea or by something that's legitimate. I use metaphor sometimes to enrich a point I am attempting to relay, to broaden the scope of communication. However, nothing simplify language as exquisitely and effortlessly than common sense. Because of my last video on cleansing our palate, familiarizing ourselves with what was sold to us as good, even when our taste buds rebuttaled. Being more aware of flavors, I am more astute to catch, to catch my projections, being allowed to exercise the spirit of independence. I saw my own contribution, conditioned habits at the latent, latent uh, state, latent performance. The aftermath, after removing the, um, the film so that we could have robust taste, aftermath, that subtle, subtle but lucid taste loud enough to get my attention and compile this video i realize how often i was making i like instant coffee i was making instant coffee based on m measuring from my from an idea of what is enough, what would taste good when I mix the ingredients together. I used to just pour out and what I ultimately expected was I would hope for the best without good measure. And that was an, uh, that statement is incorrect hoping for the best with something that is just thrown together thrust together is ludicrous but i did that on a daily basis the hit and miss game or miss and hit every once in a while there was a sensational cup of coffee that i enjoyed but for the most part, I just sipped the cup of coffees that I made unresponsive. My palate was unresponsive. So I realized there has to there have to be there has to be more than just cleansing my palate. There has to be good measure along with moving forward. So common sense. Thomas Paine published a pamphlet uh, in, I think it was January, January, 9, uh, January 1776. The British Empire governed uh, the colonies in America. And although uh, the colonies, the family, the people that occupied these colonies were were expressing some dislike based on how they were treated. Some members of the colonies thought that it was for their own good. The taxation that the British uh, was exercising on the colonies, um, it became outrageous. And because of the civil unrest that was occurring, Thomas Paine decided to 
write this pamphlet on common sense. So we know about the revolution. I'm not here for a history lesson, but it's imperative because I'm going somewhere. Because in his book, while he screamed out for independence, he also knew that they needed to implement a declaration and he spelt it out the different measures that would ultimately get the colonies up to pa where they'll be able to substantiate substantiate their own um relevance in this world becoming a nation and so it is noted that he influenced the Declaration of Independence that was written uh, and it, that was established July 4th, um, 1776. We know that we have the Bill of Rights and that that was, I think, uh, 1789. I think it's in September. And then there's the Constitution, um, 1787. So we see that there are documented changes after all of the excitement had died down. On my channel, I've been talking a lot about neurons, neurotransmitter, and getting excited about how, you know, our neurotransmitter is so fast. It gives us a great idea and we're so motivated ambitious to get to a place where, you know, as you could take a look at this beautiful uh, portrait of this woman without showing her face. So her scent is just out and free and independent. But there's more. There has to be measures. That's where our hormones come in. And I just wanted to talk about our ho hormones because hormones travel through our blood, through our that system, and it's slower, and it goes to target hormones. And based on the target hormones, which they could, you know, it could travel distance from our head all the way down to our toes, wherever the target is, the hormone will find it and it will bind to it and it gives a extracellular message but it's even um more amazing because there is a second messenger that is an intracellular um message and it gets to the nucleus of our of the cell that it targeted that's why I say New Year's resolution and that quick fix and that instant gratification. There is nothing more beautiful than homostasis when we get to see all of our parts being involved in our process. Hence, there is the DNA and then the, the message that is copied throughout our being. Common sense based on what? Based on measuring. Measuring. I measure now my cup of coffee and it's, and it's more, uh, it's filled with purpose. I hope for the best based on my practice. The motivation that I put in to my ultimate goal. If we put so much as human being emphasis drive into our external world environment, the same tax tactics apply for us internally. That's the message of solidifying who we are, writing out our messages, our declaration of independence and what that looks like to you and what that looks like for me. My Bill of Rights, your Bill of Rights as a human being. 
and the constitutions, right? What is What are you amending, amendments that you have and I have now being written in our, not only just verbalizing, but being written in our DNA, in our hormones, the messages that they're carrying for us, aiding a, the betterment for our lives. I don't know why Aladdin, well, I know why uh, Aladdin just came to mind in the song, A Whole New World. And it states that there's a line, there's a couple of lines that I love in that song. It says, a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one could tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming because why? We're measuring our lives and we have our hormones to help and aid us in carrying the messages, our scent of beauty to its connected target cells where we're sending it based on our attitude, based on our dreams, based on the fulfillment that we have inside the richness that we have developed based on, again, solidifying our worth. Hence, our scent of beauty. Thank you.